Hi, this is Steve from Drum Dial Incorporated, and this is the official Drum Dial service and calibration video. This video will show you the proper way to calibrate your drum dial. Now, some parts of your drum dial are used for calibration, and others are not. For example, this is the top cap screw assembly, and no matter what you may have seen or heard, it should never be loosened or removed. It's not used for calibration. It simply works as a bumper that keeps this shaft from going too far down and getting stuck inside the tuner. I've seen a few of these and hopefully this video will save you from having to send your drum dial in for repair. The o-ring bumper under the cap screw is supposed to expand and contract a little bit. If the cap screw is loose, the o-ring just doesn't work very well as a bumper. When you're holding your tuner and there's no tension on the drum dial, it does not need to be at zero. This does not mean that your drum dial is out of calibration. This is normal. Remember, the top cap screw has nothing to do with calibration. This is the tuning tip. When you're ready to calibrate, check to make sure the tip is finger tight. Don't use pliers to tighten. This is the bezel, the black ring around the drum dial face. The bezel lock is the locking screw at about the one o'clock position. The large needle in the middle is used for calibration and for tuning your drums. The small needle is not used for calibration or for tuning. As a matter of fact, the small needle is part of our logo and the small red numbers are used for quality testing here in the shop. To check calibration of your drum dial, set your tuner on a clean, lint-free piece of glass. The large needle will rotate a few times. This is normal operation and preloads the internal spring. This one looks good. Don't set the drum dial on a plastic counter or wood to check for calibration like I've done here. Let's compare the readings from this piece of hardwood and the glass. As you'll notice, this isn't quite calibrated. It's actually measuring the fiber tension of the wood. Here on the glass, it's in perfect calibration. This drum dial is out of calibration, so let's check the tuning tip. It's snug, so let's go ahead and calibrate this drum dial. First thing we do is loosen the bezel lock, and then rotate the bezel to align the large needle with zero, and then relock the bezel. That's the complete calibration process. It's as simple as that. Your drum dial is now calibrated and ready to go tune some drums. As always, here at Drum Dial, we appreciate your questions and helpful comments. May your drums stay in tune and always sound great.